In this class, we'll learn some basic concepts of function. Here are two sets of numbers, x and y. There's a mapping, 2x. It maps every member in set x to a member in set y which is twice as much as x. Minus 2 is mapped to minus 4. Minus 1 is mapped to minus 2. 0 is mapped to 0. 1 is mapped to 2. 2 is mapped to 4. This mapping is called a function. A function is defined as a mapping that maps every member in set x to exactly one member in set y. Set x is called the domain. Set y is called the range. There are two notations. We can either write this function as f brackets x equals 2x or f colon x right arrow 2x. Let's look at two different functions, f and g. f maps x to 2x. G maps x to x squared. We can see in f, each x is mapped to a different y. But in g, both minus 2 and 2 are mapped to 4. Both minus 1 and 1 are mapped to 1. G is still a function, because each member in x is mapped to exactly one member in y. It's just that multiple x values can be mapped to a same value in y. Function f is called a 1 to 1 function. Function g is called a many to one function. Notice that a one to many mapping is not a function. For example, h of x is plus minus root x. Zero is mapped to zero. But one is mapped to both one and minus one. So one x is not mapped to exactly one y, but two y's. Therefore, h is not a function. Remember that a function can be only one to one, or many to one, because each x is mapped to exactly one y in a function. We can use line tests to find if a mapping is one to one, many to one, or one to many. Horizontal line tests if a function is one to one, or many to one. For example, for a quadratic function, or a parabola, we draw a horizontal line. It hits the curve at two points. That means, Two different x's are mapped to the same y. Therefore, it's a many to one function. Now let's look at a straight line. When a horizontal line is drawn, it hits the line at only one point. Therefore, it's a one to one function. Vertical line tests if a mapping is one to many, hence not a function. For this curve, we draw a vertical line. It hits the curve at three points. That means, one x is mapped to three different y's. Therefore, it's a one-to-many mapping and not a function. We need to be able to find the domain and range of a function. Find the domain and range of h of x equals square root x plus 3. We know the inside of a square root can't be negative. So x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, the domain is x greater than or equal to minus 3. The range is h greater than or equal to 0. Find the range of f of x is 2x squared minus 12x plus 3, where x is any real number. This notation means x is a member of the set of real numbers. Let's complete the square for f of x. It is 2x squared minus 6x plus 3. We add and subtract 9 inside of the brackets. It becomes 2x minus 3 squared minus 9 plus 3. This is 2x minus 3 squared minus 15. Since the square is always greater than or equal to 0, the function values are always greater than or equal to minus 15. So the range is f greater than or equal to minus 15. Find the range of f of x equals 1 over x, for x greater than or equal to 1. We know f of 1 is 1, f of 2 is half, f of 3 is 1 third, and so on. The greater the x, the smaller the f. When x gets very large, f approaches 0, but can never be 0. Therefore, the range is 0 less than f less than or equal to 1. In this class, we learned. A function is a mapping that maps every member in the domain to exactly one member in the range. 
It can be written as f brackets x equals y, or, f colon x right arrow y. A function can be one to one or many to one. A one to many mapping is not a function. Horizontal line test can find if a function is one to one or many to one. Vertical line test can find if a mapping is one to many. Find the domain and range.